Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Manila. Manila is one of those apps that uh, is going to help you out. It's going to help you get uh, more organized and more efficient uh, with your bills and all the different accounts that you have online at various uh, at, uh, different websites. It's going to put it all together in one place and just make things a lot simpler for you. And that's the kind of app that uh, I can really get into. Now. Since there is going to be some sensitive data uh, available, you do have to enter a passcode in order to get into the app. So that's where I'm at here. Now I have, uh, you can set it up for whatever code you want. Right now I have it pretty simple. Um, whoops, one, two, three, four. We go really simple there uh, for testing purposes. Now, um, you can see right away I've got uh, a, just some different accounts here already set up. Now, what you can do is there's a lot of different types of accounts. There's over 3,000 that you can um, sign up with. And uh, obviously bills are going to be an important part of it. Uh, your cable bill, your telephone bill, uh, credit card. Uh, you can even put your bank in. Uh, then you have things like reward cards, um, like, uh, for example, airlines or rental cars or hotels, like Marriott Rewards or Southwest. And then you have magazine subscriptions as well. Um, you even have, I even have Best Buy rewards in here where, um, you know, you can quickly see your rewards, which I have zero. I haven't really shopped at Best Buy in, uh, in ages. But you can see I have different bills in here. And also, uh, not only does it show your current balance of what you owe, uh, but it will show your amount due if there is, if it's already been uh, finalized and set up to be paid. And, um, if it's within 21 days of the time that it's owed, you're going to get notifications as well. So here we go. It's telling me that I have to pay these bills in this time frame. And that is also very helpful. Now, you can set up some custom notifications on the online side of this, uh, on the, desk, on the um, web interface. You can go into the web interface at any time and look up your stuff. What you're going to do when you set up the app is you're going to set it up via your email address and password. And then you have an account with Manila. And that's when you go ahead and start adding accounts, uh, you know, bills and, you know, whether it's Verizon Wireless or whatever. And the good news is, like I said, everything is in one place and you can go to it on your desktop uh, web interface or on your phone or tablet. Now the other thing that's really cool is that if there is a bill that is available um, for you, uh, let's see like for example uh, DirecTV, you can go in here and look at your latest invoice which is right here. And you can see I can load it up right here there's the bill right there showing me all the detail that you would see online. And the good news is here that it'll be saved in your little cloud storage. It's free uh, storage that they give you. You can go in here and see all the bills that you uh, looked at and downloaded. You can email them to somebody or to your spouse or wherever. And you can uh, download them to your device, print them, do whatever you want. Which makes it very... Um, uh, keeps things very organized for yourself. What I really like is to be able to just go in at any given time and say, you know, what's going on with this bill? Or say if you're looking at a great thing as a credit card, if your credit card, um, you know, obviously moves every day uh, depending on how much charging you do. And if you're on a budget, you can kind of see where you are. You don't have to go to all these different websites that you normally would have to do. You can just do it here in one place. Now, you're probably thinking right now, what, this is going to be really um, not very secure. Why put all your uh, everything in one place? Well, Manila and security go hand in hand, and they are using some serious security. Uh, in fact, 128-bit encryption and basically similar uh, security that you'll find in banks. Now you trust your bank, and uh, and Manila is working. You know, is doing um, is putting in place security as good as any bank out there. So rest assured, your data is safe. Now, the other thing is, your data there will be no 
passwords of any kind saved on your phone. It's only going to be in the Manila database. And of course, they have to save your account information, your username and password, so they can access your accounts to get, you know, how much you owe and when it's due and all that good stuff. But again, with that kind of encryption, uh, it, you know, it's very secure. And the fact that if you go into the app, you have to have a pin code to get in. So if you lose your phone, uh, somebody would have to, you know, get your pin code. And even if they get your pin code, um, they're not going to see any account information here. Although your some of your account numbers and things would be um, on your paper invoices, your you know image invoices. But the bottom line is there is no passwords to these accounts, and uh, you know it's you're not going to be uh, charging and doing things like with a credit card. So things are pretty safe, and I think this is a really good app to keep get yourself organized and uh, put everything in one place. And, you know, if somebody asks a question, your wife, husband, or whatever, and you're like, oh, what's going on with that bill? Bingo, you can take a look at it. It's right in your pocket. Take your phone out, press a couple buttons, tap a couple buttons, and bingo, you've got the information when it's due and all that good stuff. So I highly recommend it. It's called Manila. It's free of charge in the Play Store. Give it a shot. See what you think. And, of course, let me know. So, you know, until next time. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.